What's going on, church fam? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So, a few days ago, the Heavenly Father placed these words in my spirit. Unexpected resources. And it will only happen through obedience. So, I remember a particular time on my journey when me and my family was homeless. And there was a lot of stuff that we didn't have. Like clothes, jackets, and just everyday stuff that you need to survive so one day i decided to take a walk just to clear my mind and the heavenly father told me to go to this particular place now this place was cold and he said if i go there he will have a job waiting for me so i went in this place and i started talking to this lady now, this lady was in charge of the janitor position. So I started talking to her and I said, do y'all have a job available for me? Now, here's what's crazy about it, y'all. This position wasn't originally open. But what happened was the person that was in this position quit that same day. He quit that same day, y'all. And so the lady, she was curious. She said, how did you find out about this position? Because it's not posted in anywhere or nothing like that. And I said, well, the heavenly father told me to come in here. And he said, you will have a job waiting for me. So that kind of threw her a little bit. It kind of threw her off a little bit. But that's what happened. And it happened through obedience. So when I started working there at Coles, what happened was, people started hearing about my testimony and I never asked for help. That's the craziest part about this, right? And the next day when I came in to work, a lady, she bought me a jacket. The other lady that worked in the janitor position gave me some clothes so I can have a uniform to work in. And somebody also offered to help us with food. And all of these things happened because of obedience to the heavenly father so sometimes when the heavenly father wants to bless you it will happen in an unexpected way maybe through people but it will always come through obedience and sometimes we don't know how god is going to help us because we might be suffering through an undesirable circumstance like i always say it might be something going on in our lives that got our back against the wall so in those moments, we got to persevere because if we don't keep going, we don't know that the Heavenly Father is about to help us unexpectedly. And it might be a particular place that he wants this to happen at. So we got to be sure to follow the instructions of God because we don't know that we're close to a turnaround moment. And sometimes you might hear a few no's before you get that yes. See, there's another testimony that I got to share with y'all. I remember one day while we was on a journey, me and my family, we was homeless. And we was parked at this library because that's what we used to do. We used to go to the library to cool down sometimes because around this particular time on our journey, it was the summertime. So it was hot outside and we would go to the library to cool down. But we was hungry this day. So the Heavenly Father said, walk and I will guide you. So I told my mom and sister, I'm about to go for a walk. <laughs> I'm always going for a walk, y'all. <laughs> That's what I need to start back doing is walking. But I decided to go for this walk, right? And the Father said he will guide my footsteps. Now, at this time, I'm far away from the library. And I walk into my first restaurant and I asked the manager, could they help us with food? They said, no. I go to another restaurant. They said, no. I go to another restaurant. They said, no. So I'm continuing to get all these no's. So I'm asking the father, what's going on? I thought you was going to guide my footsteps. I thought you was going to lead me to the place that was going to help us. 
And the father said, keep going. So at this time, I'm realizing it's a lesson to be learned. So I get to my maybe fourth or fifth restaurant, right? And eventually, I finally find the restaurant that said yes. But when they blessed us with the food, right? It was a lot I had to carry back. And mind you, I'm miles away from the library at this point. And then on top of that, my truck didn't have no gas. So that's why I was walking because we had to preserve gas. <laughs> but the Heavenly Father said the lesson is this. Sometimes you may receive a hundred no's and people might do it in a rude way. But if you keep going, eventually you will get that yes. And because you didn't stop, that's how the Heavenly Father can bless you with those unexpected resources. It was times on my journey that I had to walk, y'all, and I didn't have everything that I needed. But I didn't allow tiredness to stop me from getting to the destination that the Heavenly Father was guiding me to. That's how sometimes I received a blessing. So God might want to do stuff for your life, but you can't allow the word no make you stop walking on this path of righteousness and don't allow disobedience to keep you from following the instructions of God. The father told me to let someone know it will happen through your obedience. For example, there was a man that was born blind in the Bible. Another one of my favorite testimonies. And when he met up with Lord Jesus, the Bible say Lord Jesus spit on the ground and made clay and placed it over his eyes. And he told him to go wash in the pool of Siloam. Now, if he would have been disobedient to those instructions, he wouldn't have received his healing. But because he followed every word that Lord Jesus told him, when he finally got to the pool of Siloam and washed the clay off his eyes, he received his sight. So every single testimony that I have read in the Bible when somebody receives some sort of blessing or an unexpected resource or some sort of breakthrough miracle always took place based upon their obedience. So God is saying today, in order to receive what he has for you, if he has placed something in your spirit to do, be obedient to his instructions and you will receive that unexpected resource. I pray this word bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I love y'all.